Hey guys, JT6 here. Back with you with Phoenix Right Just Brawl. Now let, let's see what's going on in Gate 3. As a good evening to my demon knowledge my presence. Michael mistakes on where those three ridiculous symbols. Will you testify that you said good evening to Max that night? You must enjoy asking terribly obvious questions. You say good morning in the morning and good afternoon during the day, right? It's obvious that I say good night to someone at night. But then you got something to add? Miguel, that's not it, Trudo. You say good evening at night. But I'm sorry, Trudo. Mr. Quist, I would prefer if you kept your ventriloquist act outside the courtroom. Impossible, a performer lives and breathes performances, you should know better. See those evening greetings. Isn't that a bit strange to you? Well, if you hate Max so much, why would you bother being nice to him? It strikes me as somewhat strange. I would strike you as strange. Exactly, how is it strange to be cordial to one of your co-workers? Well, if it was simply just being cordial to a co-worker, I would understand. How would that hurt? Maybe you should think of having some proof before your lips start flapping next time. Proof is everything in this world. You should have learned that back in grade school. There's no reason that Trudeau will ever say something nice to Max. Bluffing is everything this while. I'm sure you already know that one. You're 100% absolutely sure of what you saw? I told you already, jeez, I am 100% absolutely sure. There's no way that he could be any more confident than that, right? Three ridiculous symbols, huh? Out of curiosity, exactly how many times have you asked that question by now? That yeah, cloak white roses, thank you very much. Well, you didn't have to join in, did you? But it's fun shouting out with everyone else. There has to be a hole in his testimony somewhere. So you only considered waiting for Regina that night? That means you probably wouldn't have noticed if someone else showed up. Just think about how many eyes I actually have. I got four, you know, four. F-O-U-R. Counting Ben, of course. With that many eyes, do you really think something would slip by me? Four eyes is an awfully lot of attention directed at one area, I suppose. Next, the judge is even more dangerous to our case in tree, though. They saw Max come out of the big top that night? Of course, that's where I saw him coming from. I stand at the entrance to the tent the entire time. I guess that makes sense, especially since it's waiting for Regina.
What time would you say these events took place? So I practice this finish properly at 10 p.m. And you already know that I went to the lodging house right after practice. You don't need to be a brain surgeon to know about what time it was when I saw him. So I had 10 more minutes, I'm sure you could do that, now what time was it? Time was it? Let me think about that for a second. It was 10, 10 p.m., yes. Sounds about right. Sounds about right because that's the time when I saw Max on the scene. Let me try Ben tap for the copy air. But Ben's part of your little axe has come off the stone. Should have a pro with the reward. You're not trying to pass yourself out of as a professional performer, are you? You get so wrapped up in yourself, Mr. Fears, right? You should know better. Ow, 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 that hurts! That should send for your serious testimony, witness. So let's try. I guess kind of to ban off someone's performances. Um, well, I'm lost again. Well, guys, I gotta do, do something right now. So you were only through a way for Regina that night? So you saw that's coming out of the big top that night? I'm not good at math. Say hello's evening greeting. Oh, 
Poop is everything in this world. Those three ridiculous symbols, huh? Now let me th let me think about what. Oh, okay, I the broken bottle. Trillo, is it not true that you had a fight with Max on the day of the murder? Fight over Regina to be exact. It's not that big of a deal, it's just an argument, a disagreement at most. This agreement usually doesn't end with someone getting clonked over the head. That morning Ben got clobbered over the head by Max, didn't he? What is that, a mission of a solar battery? Before we handle that, we should rather the finished murder charge first. Truth is that on the day of the crime, the defendant and witness had a huge fight. There's absolutely no way they would have suddenly become cordial that evening. Moreover, we'll just consider the pointed personality of the witness on the stand. There was no way a puppet this dude would just up and say good evening to his rival. Are you saying this witness is lying and is trying to befriend the defendant by claiming to have seen him at the crime scene? I, I didn't tell a single eye off there, I just... There's enough from you, Mr. Quiz, Mr. Wright. To clarify this testimony for the court. You saw a different person. It was just someone else. It, that's who he said good evening to. What? It truly didn't match that night. There would have been no green at all. I mean, there's only one proper answer. This is why Chica made the effort to greet whoever it was that he saw that evening. Who in the world you? In a sense, can I explain who it was Trilla saw that evening? Considering the ill temper of the witness, there's only one person he would greet. It must be Regina. It's Regina, right? She's so cute. No, Your Honor, it's not Regina. If it was Regina, it truly would have given her the engagement ring as a present. But yeah, I suppose you got points. This was Russell Berry, the victim of himself, was it not? You were correct, it was Russell, indeed Russell Berry. Because he saw that evening was the victim of the rematch of Russell Berry. That's why you agree him, Trillo, isn't that correct? Answer the question, Mr. Quist. Order, order, how do you respond to this? Wait a second, first I thought it was the old man. But, but once I got a better, better look at him, it was obviously Maximilian Galactica. I think it's high time we cleared the air about this question. Mr. Quist obviously witnessed a single person in the area of the past day evening. The problem is identifying exactly who that person was. Was it Mr. Maximilian Galactico or was it the remaster one, one Mr. Russell Berry? Now our prosecution argues that it was defendant that the witness saw that night. The witness has clearly stated he saw the defendant's three symbols. This is getting older. Come on man, you gotta remember that by now. Yes, yes, we know the silk hat cloak and white roses. 
a silk hat and a cloak, anyone could wear them, they even look good on me. When the witch is industry repeat that you sell matches to these symbols. However, how do we really know it's Maximilian Galactica? It could have been someone else dressed as them. Perhaps even Russell Berry. Do you have clear evidence that the Venice person the witness saw was the defendant? That's because it is impossible for me to make a judgment at this point. That is very unfortunate. Just a little too excited for your own good, Mr. Fears, right? He merely established one thing from this witness. He established that this witness saw one person in the that night. Pudge you on your effort, bud. Who that saw was only... Who that person was can only be answered by the next witness. I'm the world cry beyond a shadow of a doubt and answer to that question and evidence that clearly established one thing. That there is only no one other than Maximilian Galactica responsible for this for the crime. During that time request the prosecution prepared the next witness. Okay guys, I'll stop right here. Take care everyone, I'll see you guys next time.